In this video, modern jive, some more advanced concepts doing diva walks. So let's bring Kerry in. Uh, we'll talk about how to get in and out of the move. We'll add a little bit of flavor. We'll show you a couple of different variations of the movement. We're actually going to start in a handshake position. We're going to do our Manhattan footwork or our mumbo footwork where we step in one, two, three, four, one, two. You can always reference that footwork in a previous video. When would I get into this move? How many counts? Well, that would depend how many Manhattans I want to do or what other move I'm coming from. So we're going to teach it basic. One, two, three, off of the hand. You see that carry can walk under. Then I move, I slowly lower the hands and then carry can walk it out. She can only walk as far as I actually <laughs> need it. But the key element is not to pull on the arms. You've got to give time for the lady to pass. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I change and I match footwork with Kerry. So I get a hold there. I have a delay in my footwork. We'll show that from this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. All right, good. So thinking that I'm leaving the girl in the basic Manhattan, she walks under, I've got a hold as she passes through. So if we do the footwork without actually touching, one, two, three, four, I hold there, I rotate, I move my body that works. If I have to take a step, I will. And then Kerry walks through, now I can match her footwork and get on the same foot. So I'm gonna be on the off foot or the wrong foot as a, um, Leader. Yeah. yeah. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. Send it back. And I have to change my footwork. When she goes in, I have a syncopation and one. All right. We'll do it from here. And one, two. I open the track. I let it come through. I'm still adjusting my footwork. I feel the arms come down. I get on the correct foot. I could keep this in place, <laughs> or I could have Kerry move it forward or backwards. So, one of the really important things, and I love it, Kerry gives me a really nice outward connection, and then she says, this is where I want my arms to go, so I'm not like trying to rip her arms off, and it's I think it's really important. It's a precarious position for really both of us, because the lady's hands are probably going to be behind her hips. just the way that we need the distance to happen for those diva walks. So not only am I expanding, but I get to say, this feels comfortable for me. It's slightly behind, it's not too far behind. So this is basically the platform or the, the um, oh, I've lost my vocab word. The axis? No, I don't know. Anyway, this is the a plane, that's my word. This is the plane that I'm gonna do my rainbow on. So he feels, okay, that's where my resistance is. And from there, he gets to guide or direct, kind of like the uh, handlebars on a bicycle. So try that again. Yes, and just one thing, that when Kerry brings the arms down, even though they fall down here, I still feel that connection going forward because I don't have too much connection here. I'm following how much the lady is actually giving me connection, how far she's dropping the arms down and how quickly she's moving through to how much I want to adjust my body and rotate into the direction she's going. So to be clear, Shane is the leader, the baton was his to lead me into this movement, but now I'm giving him a broadcast. Okay, this is where I feel comfortable with my arms being set. He's receiving that while he's still directing. Yeah, because if it feels uncomfortable just to show that, and I come through, I don't like it, I just release with one of those arms so those arms don't get locked back. Mm -hmm. I would just release, I say, oh, well, that's not comfortable for the girl. And then we stay in opposition so that he is able to direct me in the way he would like yeah. to. And it's really important to get on the same foot as the lady, so you've got to pause, sometimes you've got to take a little chasse there to get on the correct foot, whatever it needs, make the adjustment. I'd like to show it from this direction if we may. All right, we'll count this. One, two, three, four, five, six, go, seven, eight, one, two, three, four. And what I did, when I sent the girl out, I did a tap so I could get back on. He released his left arm, 
and use the right arm and my right arm in order to. So make sure that from here, okay. so I send you out on the right foot, I release. And then he directs me to the right hand shape. Rock, step, and then I can do a basic, or I can just bring it through for a really nice free spin there. Or underarm, you've yeah. got your choice. So just let's quickly go over. If I'm in this position, I've already got on the correct foot. If I don't travel, all I'm going to do is get the girl to swivel because I'm not traveling, so she's going to stay there and do that. She's going to cross over the feet. All right, so she's not actually going to walk more on a balanced theme, she's actually going to cross those feet over so she can swivel in place. If we've got the room, or perhaps Shane wants to move our position across the floor, get out of a congested section, whatnot, yeah, to come this way just a little bit. One, two, three, four, really take five, six, four, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six. Whatever. That's great. I love there, it. Yeah, yeah. And then let's just show going forward this way where I don't travel. Mm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two. I basically just feel like I'm the mermaid off the bow of the ship or whatever carving the ship happens yeah. to have off of that bow. Because as it gets higher, like a lot of these moves come from more Latin style dancers. This is four count hustle, which is exactly the same dance as modern jive. Um, that's from America, by the way. And uh, the girl can do her little salsa drops and things. So if I got Terry into a position and I was holding her in place, she might decide she wants to do a level change, right? And add style. So if I blocked her arms in, she can't do that. And then I can easily let her out, send her off for a spin. So keep working on those things. If you've got questions, remember Wednesdays is the time to get us on the uh, private invite to the live Facebook stream.